this video has been designed to give you an overview of the oil and gas and energy sector and where the jobs are. Being a recruitment company, we get calls every day from guys looking to get their first start offshore. And you hear, I'm looking for work, do you have any? You've heard the industry screaming for people, they're desperate for new blood, but yet you're not getting your first start. So where is the work? Think of the oil and gas industry as a pyramid. There's three levels. First you have operators, then drilling contractors, and then your services and supply companies. The operators in the industry own the wells and the sites, both offshore and onshore, and they focus on the production and development of these sites. In the middle you have drilling contractors. These are the companies that own the platforms, jackups and vessels, which are then leased to the operators for various projects. These are the kinds of companies that most people think of when they think of offshore, and these are the kinds of positions that most guys will think of when they think of offshore working. The kind of work you're likely to find on these installations include roughneck and rustabout, derrickman, driller, crane operator, mechanic, electrician, medic, safety officer, radio operator, and various others. We currently have 168 rigs working in the North Sea, according to Rig Zone. And of them, there are several major drilling contractors which are currently working. These kinds of companies tend to hire their staff direct. However, on various projects and on large commitments and ad hoc work, they will use contractors and they might occasionally use agencies for their recruitment processes as well. These are the companies that you generally apply to direct. The last level of the pyramid is the services and supply companies. This is a huge industry and is often not recognised as being in oil and gas. But when you think of everything that is needed offshore, both by the operators and the drilling contractors, these companies supply them and the means to get them there. This is a part of the pyramid where the most vacancies are, and it's an excellent point to get into the industry. The higher you get up the pyramid, the more difficult it is to get your foot into the door, as you require more experience, more background and knowledge of the industry before you get your start. The investment to get offshore will take several steps. Firstly, be realistic about what skills you can offer. What is your work experience and your background? Do your homework. Salaries can be higher offshore, but this also reflects the lifestyle and the effect that it has on you and your family, the knowledge and the kind of work that you will be doing. Gone are the days that you can go and get your offshore survival tickets and get offshore the next day. It takes time. Also, be careful of the sites that recommend that you sign up or buy industry information or recruitment data. The information is available on the internet if you look for it. It's not easy, but it's not impossible.